improve on our physicality. Um, and we need to compete. We need to compete in every situation that we have. And what kind of progress do you feel has been made over about, I guess, three weeks? Inconsistent. Been very pleased at times. Um, coming after yesterday, uh, I thought our focus and effort were two things that need to uh, significantly be improved on. So, um, you know, we're not afforded right now the ability to take two steps forward and one step back. We need to continue to push forward. And uh, that's going to be our goal here moving forward, the, the remaining nine practices that we have. Who's kind of broken through a little bit as you look through the five guys? Yeah, that's awfully early to say, <clears throat> quite honestly. Um, I've been very pleased with Andrew Line Gang mm -hmm. and his transition uh, to playing multiple positions. Obviously, when you look at Cooper Beebe, uh, he's a guy who's fulfilling those expectations. Um, Hadley Panzer and, and Hayden Gillum are going to have to compete for that uh, that center position. And I do like the winner that Katori Leveson has had, the uh, winner that Christian Duffy has had. Um, Dawson Delford, just somebody who's had a lot of experience. And you can kind of continue down the list. I think, quite honestly, that's going to be a, a better answer to the question here in about five or six practices. How much do you focus on building versatility along the line? And getting guys to play in multiple positions. That's a focus, interestingly enough, that I begin with even during the recruiting process. It's our job as coaches are to put the best five out there. And it doesn't always necessarily mean that if one guy goes down because of an injury that, boy, that next right guard is going in. We have to have the ability to be very versatile. So where a lot of that versatility takes place is really with that center guard position. You know, you've got to have a multitude of guys who are able to execute the snap, execute the communications. So um, there are a few guys who, you know, Cooper Beebe's playing a lot at left guard right now. He's obviously uh, been very successful at left tackle, and I have no problem with putting him at right guard or right tackle uh, if, if it uh, requires it. Andrew Line Gang has played both left and right side. Tori Leveson is playing both left tackle and left guard. Um, Hadley Panzer, Bubba, as we love to refer to him as, is playing both guard and center. So that versatility is huge. And um, if you guys have a crystal ball and tell me who's going to be the five guys and, you know, this guy's potentially going to get injured in this particular week, uh, you guys share that information with me because I'd love it. It helped me out a whole hell of a lot. But that's that we have to we have to have that versatility. What's the line gang doing that's kind of thrust him into the spotlight, so to speak? Well, it's one of those things that that I talked to our entire group about this morning. I said our ability to take the information that we get in meetings um, from the board, from individual, and apply that into a team setting. All the great ones I've been around have had that ability. He is showing that ability right now. When we talk about something in a meeting, when we have a walkthrough in an afternoon, when we have you know, an individual drill, and you have the ability to take that and apply that into a team setting, a competitive setting, those are things that he's doing right now that are showing me he's, he's on that right trajectory. How fortunate is it to have Taylor Portier back after not having him all of last year? Well, I, I believe that Taylor um, is one of the most talented offensive linemen, not only in this building, but also in the league. And having him out a year ago was, was challenging. It was challenging on him, obviously. It was challenging on our offense. So I'm excited to get him back, get him back in the fold of things. Um, any time in, in my history has shown any time that you have an injury like that, the biggest thing that you need to gain is confidence. You need to gain confidence back in that that, that appendage, if you will, that, that it does work, that doctors did their job, that your rehab, uh, that our training staff who does a phenomenal job have put you in a great position to, to kind of get back to where you were. What's the biggest